Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use, um, how to add photos to your blog posts with the Blogger app that we use called um, Blog Touch Pro. First of all, make sure the photo already exists inside your um, iPad. So I'm going to do this uh, uh, post all about me. So I've taken a selfie on me. So it already exists here. I've already taken the selfie. It's already in my camera roll. It's here in all my all photos, and that's what I'm going to be used. So uh, if you're placing photos, make sure they're already in your iPad. So if you need to go out and do a Google search and get a picture of a butterfly or something, go do that already now so that it's ready to go. Okay, so once you've downloaded the photo, you're good to go. Uh, the next thing I need to do, since we don't do any big writing inside of our, um, inside the Blogger app, I'm going to select all, and this is a huge long story all about me. So I'm gonna just get into all that. Where's the little copy button here? Where did I lose it? Oops. Let's try that again. Uh, da, da, da. Long pause, select all. And there it is, copy. Sorry, that took a little bit longer than normal. Okay, so that's that's been copied. Okay, so now I can go and open up the Blog Touch Pro. Here we go. And I'm going to tap on the new one up here. New and biography make sure it's all spelled right okay and then in the body of it down here i'm just going to paste it okay and i don't need the words brad bio so let me just go and delete that there um, i'm going to put an extra space up here and i'm going to tap on that empty space okay so this is all about putting a photo in so put the little blinking cursor wherever you want the photo okay so if i wanted the photo here I would tap there and the little blue blinking cursor is going to tell me where I want the photo. But I want it right at the beginning. So I'm just going to go there and then here are my choices for different things. And it's the one that has the mountains and the little sun on it. So I'm going to tap on that. And I want a picture from the gallery. And it might ask you about is it okay to access your photos and just tap on okay. I have a lot of photos so it takes a long time for it to sit there and go okay wait a minute what does he really want to do here. So let's just wait for it to open up all my photos. Okay, so there's my photos, there's my camera roll, there's the photo I want, done, and there's a really big photo of me on this blog post. That's way too big. If we publish that, it would be overlapping too much. Let me show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish that. And like it says down here, it takes a few minutes for it to upload the photo to your blog. So let's just wait for that to happen because it is a big photo. Okay, so it's there. And I can go right here on the share button, I can say view post. And this is what it's going to look like on the web. And look at how big my photo is. It overlaps. I mean, it just wrecks everything. It just doesn't look good at all. Where if I go back to, say, you know, one of my other posts, it, you know, it looks a lot cleaner because the photo fits inside the little area where this one just is not working at all. That's why we don't use supersized photos. So let me close this. Let me go in and tap on the share button. Let's go edit this post. And to change the size of a photo, I just tap in the middle of it somewhere and then find a corner. And I'm just going to bring that in. Let's go back up and find it. There you are. Tap on again, bring in that corner a little bit. Okay, that is a more reasonable size for a photo in a blog post that looks good. So now I'm gonna republish that. Let it edit that, good. Let's take a look at view post. Okay, that looks reasonable now. Look at how nice that is with the blog post, that looks really, really good. Okay, so that I hope uh, shows you everything you need to know about how to bring in a photo, how to edit the size of that photo so that it looks really good in your blog post.